Hello MLP fans, welcome back to my channel for another live reaction with Hungry Harmony. Yes, this will be Season 9, Episode 5, which is called Point of No Return. Sh sh should I be concerned? No, seriously, sh should I be concerned? Point of no return. Um, that kind of means like you can't return from something that you were going to, right? Grammar? <laughs> Words? Definition? Help! <laughs> well, I won't keep you waiting, so I'll just get started with the video. Let's hope it's gonna be a great one and I can put it up soon. It'll probably not be. Sadness. Okay. In Derpy! Hi, Derpy! Oh, oh, dear. Um, you okay, Derpy? <laughs> yeah, Twilight, be concerned. <laughs> Not like Spike. But you had a really happy delivery today. From Celestia? Looks like it's from Celestia. Oh my gosh, Spike. <laughs> Oh, I know that disappointing feeling, Spike. It's okay. I'm gonna get a mail. It's not for you. And mail. <laughs> Why didn't she put it in the box? I have been conducting a thorough cleaning of the castle, and I came across a few items of yours in your old room. I thought you might want them back. I didn't even know I'd left anything. Well, you left your whole room before, so. Aww. <laughs> nice one, Spike. G1? What? Like, Generation 1? Okay, um... I wonder if Starlight had that. Spike, oh dear. Don't break anything. Hold that. Yeah? Oh. Exactly. The <laughs> point of no return. I get it now. <laughs> Sorry, that's not that's not ha that's not good. But um, oh dear. Oh my. Whoa. Make sure you bring this one back on time. We've got a long waiting list of ponies who can't wait to read it. I promise I won't let you down. Oh no, who are those long listing listing ponies? If there's any pony I can trust to take care of a book. It's you, Twilight Sparkle. Oh, oh, heaviness at the heart. You still hold the best book follower title. Ooh, oh, dear. You forever. Oh, Bye. dear. Oh, no. Quick, find me that old copy of Predictions and Prophecy. Oh, we're going back to season one. Oh, my gosh. Well, it was a gift for Moondance. Season one. But... Oh, Spike, oh. you know we don't have time for that sort of thing. <gasps> Oh. And then Celestia sent me to Ponyville and I forgot all about this. Nasty Pages prided herself that no books were damaged or lost on her watch. And I failed her. I failed her. Oh, myself. no. Today we're going to share the library. Hey. <sighs> Sooner the better, I guess. Hey, Spike, at least you get to fly on your own. Instead of Twilight just... You okay? Um, uh, why are we hiding? Don't you want to return your book? Yes, yes. But what if some pony sees me in there? I'm the princess of friendship. Yeah, you're, you're the go ponies recognize me. I'll Duh. Stick like a sore hoof. What the, the point? Twilight sparkle in a library? Stop the presses. <gasps> oh, this book is a big deal, Spike. What if Dusty Pages revokes my library card? 
That's oh my. Or bans me from ever entering the building again. Um, you're the princess of friendship. Those books in your collection at all? True. But the ones in there have a special Canterlot Library e-smell. E-smell? You don't? I used to live in a library. Oh, Twilight. If I'm not a good example of proper book borrowing, you didn't sleep in a library in Equestria Girls. So yeah, she lives in a library. Wow, it's been a while. Twilight. Ugh. Just teleport yourself to the front. Oh, and her picture's not there. Oh, that's sad. What are you? Wow, uh -uh. Twilight. I have a book to return. Princess Twilight. So good to see you. The librarian is loud. Oh, that's a first. I've ever seen that. Of Moon Curve Seven Theories on Bending Time. I've been waiting for the release since. Uh, I mean, uh, no book today. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> but I do need to speak with Dusty Pages about a <clears throat> sensitive matter. Dusty who? Dusty Pages. Dusty Pages, the head librarian. She worked here forever. I'm sorry, Princess. I don't know her. Now, was there some other way I can? She could have been replaced, you know. Oh, oh no. Just ask her where to return an overdue book. It's no big deal. It yeah. happens all the time. It does. Me, it doesn't. Oh, I know it is kind of scared. I can feel Twilight <sighs> stress in this, so fine. I can relate. I, I didn't even think about the late fine. A book out this long will probably cost a thousand bits. You're fine. She, I mean, we. Way to go, Spike. <laughs> well, that's no problem at all. In fact, it happens all the time. <laughs> yes. I'll just find it in the card catalog. Uh, number 18905, got it. <laughs> oh, wow, yeesh. I haven't seen a book this late in, well, ever. <laughs> you need to go and see First Folio in the grossly overdue book return office for ponies who should know better. Don't pull any punches with those names, do you? Oh, wow. And also, she's the princess of friendship. Give her respect even though. You know, they should really give Twilight more respect since Whoa. she's a princess, but looks like no pony ever goes down here. No what do you say to that? Undependable rule breakers who deserve all the horrors this hallway holds. And they both get <laughs> Spike is like first best. Left a note on the, door. the bandit hope all you need to enter. Ooh, my English teacher had that. Well, guess we'll have to try back later. No, I can't wait another minute to return this book. Yeah. The time it took us to get there, I racked up another 17 bits in late fees. We're going to lunch. Oh. Good, because I'm starving. I feel like um, Spike is getting like smarter and smarter each time. Tell me yes. It's been a while since I've seen this. Three other yes. And my late finds are already up another 26. Love the culture and music. It's. <laughs> Oh, don't make Spike cry. Waiter, we're ready to order. Oh, uh, I'm not actually. They're dragon waiters here. Two curry specials. Do you think that's enough for the two of us? Hmm. I would probably order some naan as well. But table sounds great. Wait, what? Twilight, is that you? Moon dancer. Moon dancer, how do you? Hi. Been? How do you do? Just missing. No real reason. Well, she looks nice better. To see you. I'm just meeting my friend, First Folio, for lunch. Do you want to join us? Princess Twilight, good to meet you. Did you know your picture is still up in our library as a best book borrower? Way to make it worse. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping I could talk to Dusty Pages about that. Oh, Dusty Pages left the library moons ago. Didn't you know? Mm -mm. No, well, she hasn't oh, been at Canterlot Library forever. It's so sad. She loved the library. Wait, forced to leave? Uh -huh, uh -huh. She had a perfect <gasps> librarian record, but one careless pony didn't return a book. Of course, all. of course, this was gonna happen. Are you okay, Twilight? And it's Twilight. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> That's why you only order spicy if you can take it. Twilight, what's wrong? Spike 
should get paid. Spike is the best. That is wow. That's a high chin. be annoying if you get someone else's mail all the time and they have to change their address. That actually never happened to me, but I know it happened to a friend of mine, and she is that. Why did I get the feel? I mean, she was no offense. I think since she was old, I have a feeling she's not alive anymore, and that would be interesting if the MLP community actually like, faced that, that she is not alive, and I wonder how it would maybe ponies people would take that. I don't know, I'm just curious. Oh, hello. Wow, this is going everywhere. That's a good idea. Oh, wow. Silver Stable Community for the best golden years. This has to be it. I hope so. It's the last silver spot on the map we have on the left. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing she would be here. Oh, oh, this place is terrible. I know. There's not a single bookshelf in sight. <laughs> <We're testing. laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Yes. How may I help you? Do you have a resident? I like her voice. Oh yes. Her apartment is in the next complex, ground floor. Thank you. She's alive. Yay. So no death subject. Okay, that's that's, that's a good thing. I like that. <laughs> Having a picture on your door. You just passed it. You just passed a uh, twilight. Oh, good. Okay. There she is. Here we go. Does she have the same picture for everything? I love that how they put this. Put, oh wow. Put the subject in this about having an elderly home. It's kind of nice. That it actually exists in MLP universe. She could be just sleeping. Sorry to interrupt hey. your plan air painting, but we're looking for dusty pages. Have you seen her? Sure have. <laughs> yeah, of course they do that. Patience. And <sighs> she had to leave early to get to her Bunby de Tea section. Which is right before she leaves the woodworking class with me. And then she's on to wing surfing. Oh, and don't forget theater rehearsal. Dusty plays a lead role. Again. Then there's her band practice later. Thank you. Wow. She's Dusty's one busy pony. One busy pony. <laughs> yes. Hashtag goals. <laughs> Morning yoga or tai chi, what they call it? I have no clue. Maybe she knows that Twilight's there and she's just trying to avoid Twilight for. Oh, hello! Oh, nice to see you again! No, I, I literally think. 
she's avoiding the toilet. Or maybe she knows it's her fault. Way to save the picture. Didn't seem like it was wet at all, but okay. <laughs> Same. Like that happened. It's gotta be her. Finally. She she she's enjoying herself, that's for sure. Here comes the I truth. I can't forgive myself until I set things right. I don't remember you doing anything wrong. You told me to take special care of a book I checked out from the Canterlot Library, and I never brought it back. It was you that had that book out? The one that broke my perfect record? But now you can bring it to Canterlot Library and get your job back. No, thank you. I don't ever need to see that library again. You'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. But you could just return it to Twilight. To... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Spike so much. <laughs> I don't understand. If Dusty Pages I love it. back to Canterlot Library and explain everything, then she won't be able to get her job back. Even worse, she might not record want her job imperfect. back. And yours will too? Well, yeah. I never understood how those work. Uh, you don't want to know. Uh, it would have been worth all the bits in Equestria if I'd made things right. That face. I wish I knew why she won't go back. Why don't you ask her? She didn't seem to want to talk. You surprised her, and she probably had something else on her schedule. That thing is Pat. She so, should have known that Twilight was the one. Got who lose? Now that I've messed up this much, checked it out. Usually, librarians know that. Right, Spike. It's worth a try. Where do you think she went? I love the music. A squishy fruit food fight tournament? Goals? I want to go on one. Hey, every pony, we coming? Who hit Spike? Who hit? Oh, you hit? Who hit Spike when he was trying to surrender? How dare you? No, That's not honorable. I want to talk to Dusty Pages for a moment, please. Where is she? I was hoping you'd give me another chance to talk to you about the library book. <sighs> this really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Mm hmm. I know okay. I ruined your life by not returning my book on time, and I will do anything I can to make it up to you. Huh? Even well, it's Twilight. Never she would do that. The library again, if that's what it takes. <gasps> <laughs> that is not the reaction you expected. Exactly. What? Come sit here. All those years I spent hiding away in that library, trying to be perfect. When your book never came in, I felt something exhilarating. What was it? Freedom. <laughs> From perfection. I was too huh. stubborn to know when to call it quits. It took your mistake to make me realize that I wasn't living the life I wanted. You mean you weren't fired? You left the library because you wanted to? Twilight, your late book was the best thing that ever happened to me. Now I'm not afraid to try things I might fail at. In fact, 
Sometimes messing up teaches me more than getting it right. You're sure you don't want to return I like this lesson. Record back? I'm going to go uh, MLP. Oh, good. It was a yellow one. You can still see the words. But it'll have a stain. That doesn't change the truth inside it. Wait, <laughs> did you even read that thing? Actually, uh, no. I guess I didn't. Perfection. And the next part? She didn't even read a book. She didn't read a book. No wonder she didn't read it. Might have been useful to look at earlier. Your total late fees come to however much it is. I'll cover it. Do you have a lovely You probably have twenty-eight bits. That's it. Yeah. Most ponies don't know the caps at a mark. Probably because we don't tell them. Thank you. To normal, although we will be taking down your best book borrower picture. That's okay, you don't have to live with it. Really necessary. It just you can so live with permanent. Without it. I mean, I did return the book, after all. <clears throat> like, a okay. few years later. The perfection go. You want me to reshell this for you? No, it's an old edition. We've already replaced it with a new copy. In that case, can we keep it? It might be a good reminder to have around. You're sure? It's got a stain. That was That's her fault. What makes it perfect. And the stain disappeared. Well, I very, very, very much like the lesson that was taught here, and also that Spike is best. Spike is best. You can see how much Spike has matured throughout like the MLP series. Like he's gone smarter, more observant. It, it's wow! I'm just really way to go, Spike. Way to go, Spike! I I give it to you, man. It's awesome. And of course, like the lesson, and like we got introduced to the perfection side, which is a lot of people don't really actually get into because you know a lot of people are perfectionists. I'm also a perfectionist, especially in my artwork, but I can also be lazy. So in a way, I'm not a hundred percent perfectionist, but it depends upon what I'm drawing. And, and sometimes like in the videos or something that I'm making that I just want it to be perfect. But I'm not that obsessed with like how Twilight is handling it or how Twilight saw like she's a perfectionist and stuff like that. So I'm not on that high level. But I, I know people like that and they, they work hard and they're really smart people. So way to go. But I kind of like that they had the book of like perfection is impossible to achieve. I'm like, oh yes, that's awesome. So, yeah, I just really love, I love this lesson. I, I was really actually kind of like bored, not bored, but like kind of like dull from the beginning. I was just like, this is, this is long and I don't see the lesson in this. Like, if the lesson is don't overdo your books, you know, like bring them back on time, stuff like that. And they teach you in middle school and high school and probably preschool, that. But then it got to the lesson of perfectionism. I'm like, oh, wow, that, that really twisted it. I'm like, Boom! What? That was awesome. So I very, very much enjoyed this episode, for sure, especially during like halfway through the end. It was awesome, and you got the hints at it, so it was awesome. So yeah, that's kind of all I have um, to say. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos, more MLP videos that are hopefully going to come soon. And thanks for watching. Hungry Harmony, out. Friendship is magic. That's what you are to me.